Hello. Um, I wanted to um, finally get a chance to um, put uh, some of these flutes that just cam came out of the kiln. Um, I know uh, a few of you have been waiting for uh, some of the higher quality flutes that could be used either for sound healing um, or uh, more doing um, uh, more professional presentation style music. So. Here's a few instruments that I think have a lot of potential uh, for those of you interested. Uh, I'll go over the first two flutes um, that you see in the, uh, the front and then um, I'll do a second video for uh, the other two flutes which are similar. The first one um, is in the key of C and the drone side is in the key of uh, B. So um, here's a little example of this one. The thing I like about this one is that it has actually a lot of um, vibration, infrasonic type uh, sounds on uh, some of the notes. So uh, that is uh, oftentimes desirable for uh, different types of sound healing work and um, the Mexica and a lot of the uh, Mesoamerican flute makers uh, often sought for that infrasonic phantom sound as it's often called. So uh, these first two have um, a lot of that, those types of qualities. So um, here goes the first smaller one. So that's the smaller one. Um, it has a skull design and a flint knife. And um, this face here is actually um, representative of an Olmec uh, mask, uh, mini mask or masket that they would say. Um, and half of it is a, a, a person and the other half a jaguar. And on the underside, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a little tadpole figure. In if you look at it a certain way, it, it kind of looks also like a mature frog and the tadpole representing the metamorphosis and of course the um, jaguar human face too. Um, so this other one has a Teotihuacan mask 
and the design of uh, eagle and flower. Um, and here we go. Here's this one. It's in the key of E minor, and the drone is in F. interesting thing I want to point out about this one before I, I play it is um, the, uh, this flute actually when you play both sides it seems like only one side is playing but both sides are actually playing and when you go back to the root note it almost seems like you lost one side like if it's one side stopped playing but it's some, for some reason it, it, um, it almost fakes your mind into he hearing only one when there's actually both playing um, so here goes this one. So there's that one, and that's um, the biggest flute of the set. And uh, I've been doing some research, and um, some of my new flutes that I'll be doing in the future, and like the death whistles you see here, um, are based on um, some uh, recent research that I've um, encountered, and it's really helped me, um, and it's going to help me even more to make better instruments. Um, uh, and one of the things this research is saying is that um, that off and on type uh, sound that you hear, um, even though both sides are playing, it sounds like one side is actually something that um, they, uh, in, in ancient times, uh, also sought after too. And it, it wasn't really that intentional for me to do it that way, but it, um, both pl uh, playing side and drone are almost in the exact same key, and I think that's maybe why uh, it does that. So um, a couple interesting flutes that I have available now. Um, thanks for looking at the video.